brothers, sisters, and others of all colors. Welcome back to another YouTube video, this time, this time, this time. I want to talk about this piece of advice I've been seeing online. And it's like, hey, you just have to like not want it in order to get it. And uh, this is an issue. It's not because what they're saying doesn't work. It very much so does. But the cynicism that generates from it, or that this is the the cynicism that could be levied against this like very legitimate and good advice is not the fault of the advice. It's the fault of how people are when they give that advice, right? And how people take that advice. So I say the advice is bad. But, well, it's a little more complicated than that. It's like the advice is bad because of the way people give it, not because the actual content of the advice is untrue or that the the the, the end game is untrue, right? Of like what the advice like like it, it doesn't come from a misunderstanding of the world. Uh um The, the external things are properly understood here, but the internal things are not considered, even though they are instrumental in it, okay? And, and we'll get to that in a second, okay? So, you can't just not want something. Also, it's very disrespectful as well. So telling people just like not wanting, telling people like, hey, just don't want it is... It doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense, right? And you're starting from somewhere that they're not. Like, you start from wrong. How do you get to right from wrong? No. You have to start from what's right. What is right is that they want it, right? They want it. And then it's like, okay, well, what is a want? And why do you want it? This is important. And then we also have to think about the mechanics of letting go and how it works. So, we can, we'll talk about the first two topics first, and then we'll go into letting go later. So first, let's talk about what is a want. A want is a positive thought where you value something that you don't have, right? Wanting feels great because of the value, value the bleh, because you, you, you feel good, you have a sense of value on something, right? And that's, where, that's why it's tricky, because the thing that you're valuing is attached to not having that thing, that thing not being a physical thing that, that you can experience. Or not being a real thing, I guess, and just being a thing in your mind. So, this is the issue, right? The reason why you can't just not want it is because you want it for a reason. So you have to, you have to look at the reason, and you have to change the wanting, right? Think of it like how uh, the matter cannot be created or destroyed, right? We all know that little physics thing. Well, it applies here too, right? Wanting can only be changed into to something else. It can only be separated into its components, right? And this is important because uh, 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 separating it into its components helps you understand how to get through that, right? And then say, like, why do you want it? Why did you combine not having with appreciating a thought? Why, why is not having and appreciating a thing the same thing? Well, and that's why, again, that's why desire feels good. Because of the appreciation, as I said before. So it's like, okay, well... Like, what, do you, what don't you have? It's like, well, you know, I want a girlfriend, right? It's like, okay. 
well, you don't have a girlfriend. Fair enough. <laughs> I just imagine that being clipped out of context. Right? So it's like, okay, so you don't have a girlfriend. You don't have um, this thing in your life. Right? The, 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 and again, I, I actually kind of like hate that after saying that again. So it's not that, you, again, it's not that you don't have a girlfriend, right? Because you can't have a person. The person doesn't belong to you. The person belongs to themselves. It's like, okay, well, that's why we have issues with, like, infidelity. It's like, the person doesn't belong to you. But anyways, that's, that's, a, that's besides the topic, right? So, why do you want it, right? It's like, okay. So you appreciate it. So at some point in your life, you appreciated something that was also not present. Boom. And also, people talk like this all the time, right? You talk about the things you appreciate all the time. You talk about the, thing you, talk about the things you admire all the time. Um... And we see, like, oh, like, like, wanting is a very common thing. And no one ever thinks about what wanting really is. Wanting, or, or what wanting is built upon, right? It's, it's a way of talking, it's a way of communicating with people. Uh, but, it, but it's important to consider that, right? Wanting is desire. Desire is not happening. All right, so what do you do? What do you do about this? Well, first of all, you have to separate appreciating a thing from whether or not it's in your life or not. Um, I can appreciate a, a, a fucking, I'm trying to think of something really, some, something luxurious, okay, that I can appreciate, right? Let's see. I can appreciate Sonic Frontiers. I can, was, <laughs> that's not exactly luxurious, but follow me, okay? I can appreciate the game Sonic Frontiers. I can appreciate the thought of me playing the game Sonic Frontiers. I can appreciate purchasing the game of Sonic Frontiers. And I can do all of these things, right? Because these are thoughts. These are the thoughts. And then without... Sonic Frontiers, the video game, being downloaded onto my system, or physically having a copy of the game. And you might say, well, isn't that just delusional? Right? No. It's not. It's, it's actually the exact opposite. Why? Because I know that these things are thoughts, and I know that the existence of the thing is just the thing. Or it's just the existence of the thing. And that's fine. I can be fine with the existence of the thing without that affecting whether or not I appreciate anything related to it or any mental construction I have of that. And I can look at a mental reconstruct, I can men look at any mental construction, anything that happens in my mind that I make up, and I can feel any way I want to feel about it. I can do anything I want to do with it. Why? Because it's in my mind. And that doesn't make you delusional. It doesn't make you stupid. It certainly doesn't make you not valid or those thoughts not valid. And anyone who tells you that's a no, uh, bleh, anyone who tells you that is a moron. Anyone who tells you that is probably delusional. It's dumb, right? Your thoughts are not reality. You can separate the two or you can, you can separate the thought from the reality because it's not the reality. Okay? Very important. So that's what you need to do. You need to take the thought of having it uh, and separate it from whether or not you do have it. 
what it is versus what I think it is. And you should take power over what I think it is. You, you can take what I think it is and, and separate that from what it really is. That's how you fucking do this. Okay? So you do not... Uh, let's say you want a relationship with a woman. Alright? Well, you can appreciate the thought of having a relationship with a woman. And that can just be that. And then you can take actions. See? Different, different circles, different things. All right? And I, I emphasize the simplicity of this, not to insult your intelligence, uh, because simple is also, it is as simple as it is to fuck up. Okay. So, and, and, and when I focus on this simplicity, my goal is to help emphasize this way of looking at things. Which makes me feel like I'm brainwashing. Oh god. But I see the I see the same problem, the same fucking bullshit happening like all the time. And it's like You can do better. You cannot do this. And I I know you cannot do this, and here's how you not do this, okay? So, back to the example, right? So you can appreciate the thing. Right? You can appreciate the thing of another person. You can appreciate the thought of being in a relationship with that person. And you can appreciate, or you can look at, right? You don't really have to value it any way or any way, you, you know, any way at all. You can appreciate what that is. Or you can, you can value that in any way you want to. But it doesn't have to get in the way of these other two things. It doesn't have to get in the way of what you think, or what your idea is, or... or it doesn't have to get in the way... What is real, what is, doesn't have to get in the way of what you think is, and how you value that, right? You'll always, you can always have the thought, and you can have the thought as much as you want, all the time right and it never has to be real in order for you to appreciate it but if you tie the necessity of it being real if you tie the necessity of it being real to appreciating having it then how the fuck are you like like, like then you're going to create a situation where you have desire and you have a suffer you you create suffering around that desire and then because you're building it on a fucking premise that is fucking dog shit you're building it on a foundation of dog shit the whole building is going to be dog shit. You're making the building from dog shit. The whole thing is dog shit. Right? This is how a lot of problems happen. So it's, it's assumptions and a failure to separate shit. So. What's up, dog? It's my dog. My dog is down here. I'd show you. But it's going to be a little weird. Alright? So. Your desires, the things you want, and the things, the things you want, think about instead that you appreciate the thought of having, and you appreciate the thought of the thing that you want to have. Think about these two things, okay? And enjoy that. It's something that you can enjoy and enjoy without thinking of anyone else or anything else. And then separate that from what is right do i have uh, 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 is there a woman in my life that i have a relationship with right now and the answer to that for me personally is fucking no all right no bitches basically <laughs> but I can think about I can I can think about no bitches any way I want to think about it. I can I can think about it. 
any way I want to think about it, right? I can hate the thought of having no bitches. I can have... I, I, I can appreciate, hey, you know what? It's a good thing I ain't got no bitches. No bitches is less bitching. Okay. But uh, obviously, like, it, uh, uh, apply it to your own gendered terms, right? Or, 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 or apply, apply that same sentiment to your own terms of gender, okay? Man, woman, non-binary, whatever. Right? Gender fluid, uh, a, a lot of other genders I, I uh, cannot name off the top of my head. Right? You can apply this thought to anything. Anything. Or you can you can apply that value uh, that that thought to anything, right? But the point is to separate how you value these things and to separate the feelings you have from each of these things. Treat them as their own thing, okay? And now that your want, the attachment between the thought of you having it. And the reality of you having it, like the 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 the, the value that's tied in between, that's tied by the by the gap between by the the connection of those two things, no longer exists, right? Because you separated those two things, and now you don't have to fucking want anything, and that's what they mean when they say just don't want that's what they really want you to do well that's what they that's what they're really trying to get you to do is to do that to separate these two things that's how you not want something right we've taken the want we've break it we've we've detached its constituent components i don't i don't know what the actual usage of that term is obviously but we we've taken apart its pieces and we've broken it up. It's now a different thing. Right? And it's not and now it's more accurate too. Because what you value state uh, uh uh what you value is like the, the things that are in your head are in your head. And the things that are out there are out there. See that? We've organized it. We've separated it. It's nice and it's doable. Like, this is fantastic. So that's how you not want something. This video is getting long, so I don't know if I can talk about the mechanics of this. But, you know what? Yeah, I'll save that for another video. For now, sleep on that one. Uh, 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 stick that in your pipe and smoke it or whatever. Uh, and and, and consider, the, consider the things that I've told you today. Okay. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Peace.